Wait, why do I have... Okay. All right. All right, so we've got. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the uh, the tablet monitor software just decided to fail, so I had to restart my computer a bunch of times and try to fix it. Uh, looks like I did though. So anyway, hello, welcome to the uh, art stream. This is just a laid back art stream tonight. Um, this is at the request of a friend of mine that I know through Facebook, uh, through a, uh, film group that we're both a part of. Let me move the mic here. Uh, and he requested that I draw a picture of, uh, him, his wife, and her father, uh, together on a, um on a uh, canvas here that's big enough for them to print it really, really big. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I will be keeping an eye on the uh, <coughs> texts, on the, uh, on the comments. So, you know, drop in, say hi if you want. It's uh, really just kind of a laid back, Tuesday night arts, uh, Tuesday night arts, uh, <laughs> repeating it to a Tuesday night art stream. All right. Move this over here and this over here. Both down. And, uh, let's think about how I want this. He wants me to to do it to to have it like um you know they and 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 him are together in one area and um he's between them and of course there are people that uh and made it back. What happened? Uh the tablet software just failed and wasn't responding, so I had to like go back through and re-download the driver a bunch of times. Um, but it's here now. It's, it's working now. <clears throat> yeah, so... I don't know exactly how tall he was. But I'm gonna guess about as tall as him. And she's about there. All right, so we'll have here, and he will be between them, and he's going to be of, like, equal height. Yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, hi, PS3 dork. Hey. Like I said, just a, just a laid-back kind of art stream. I'm going to assume that Yeah. Let's see. Got to love unnecessary updates. Yeah. Yeah, it and it came out of the blue too because the uh, tablet was working fine this morning. And then I just get up to use it for this and all of a sudden like the point interface is just not talking to anything. I'm just like roughly getting everything. Uh, 
I appreciate that this this person wants me to do this. I think, you know. Uh, whose OCs are you drawing? I'm not drawing any OCs. These are real people. Uh, this is um, a request from a friend of mine uh, who also requested that I that I live stream it too. So. Grab you and drag you down here. Can I like, size you up at all? Yeah, there we go. get to roughly that size. It's a little little low. Yeah. That's really wholesome. Yeah, yeah. So how's everything going on with everyone else today? Because to me, it has been just a, just a bloody nightmare. Oh, come on, Clips, don't, don't crash. It's doing something. I don't know, I told it to do, like, one thing. It might be this monitor. <laughs> it might honestly be this monitor. The monitor's a little old. Come on, don't crash. It's doing something. Ah, there we go. It's done. I mean, I can. It's done doing their thing. that delete that oh my god I told it to just delete something and it's like oh, I can't do it I don't know anything just want to okay now that the mask thing is empty now I can do this right good there Hmm. 
and it's sitting here just like taking time. There we go. Let's make sure that. All right, slide inverse. And wait, there. I think I made. I think I scaled him up a little bit too much. Let's Again, this is just to make sure that I've got everybody where I want them to be. And it's taking a little bit longer than I would have wanted because of how big this actual file is, like, is. So literally every movement that I make with these pictures takes the computer about 20 seconds to actually decide that I've done something. All right, now it's decided that I've done that and I can move on to him. I want to duplicate that. And delete. All right, I told it to do something, so now it's got to wait. There. I'm going to drag you down here. Oh, God. There we go. And I hit OK on something, so now the program has to sit here for 18,000 years. This guy's actually pretty cool. He um he sent me a bunch of film, which was nice. I've been meaning to get a uh well, I've been meaning to try to find a sous vide cooker so I can keep the chemicals at the right temperature so I can do this. Oh, and of course, because I clicked off of something, it's got to take 15 seconds to figure out that I've clicked off of something. There. All 
All right, so now that we've got them, I have... Oh, God, come on, computer, what the hell? There we go. Uh, how's the summer heat treating you over? Over here in Colorado, it's been cooling off the past couple of days with thunderstorms. Yeah, it's actually been cooling off here, too. Oh, come on. Computer, what the... F come on. Yeah, it's, um, it's actually been kind of cool here, too. Although, for the last couple of days, it's been raining um off and on the whole day so oh it's saving rec oh fuck and uh, of course it crashed of course it crashed why would it not crash hey weasel your brain pumping art chemicals to get the creative mojo um no, uh, what's going on is uh, I'm watching a program just kind of slowly turn into ground beef here. Right now it's saving recovery information. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to do that before I do anything else because... You know, I'm not about to. Not about to let anything just kind of crash, though I probably should have pre comp this in After Effects. Yeah, no, this is great. We're having a great time on the art stream. <laughs> Just a great time on the art stream. Bad timing to ask that, lol. Yeah, no, waiting for a program to uncrash itself, yeah. That's okay, this gives me time to think about what I want to do here. I probably want to bring them closer together. Because the idea is the guy in the middle... Uh, the idea is the guy in the middle is, is like... He's got his arms around them. Um, so I'll just let it... I go do its thing... It's weird when I when when the stream started, I like the first time I tried to stream tonight, I also had any had like technical issues. So maybe tonight's just a bad night. I have a question for you, Weasel, if I may. I'm trying to start my own YouTube channel on this account and since January I've been pre-recording a bunch of videos just so that I can have enough backlog. That's a smart move. Oh, did it uncrash? Can I do anything? Can I save? Did that do something? Can I can I manipulate anything? Like can I do this? Yeah, I can. And there. Although she should probably be a little bit lower just because she's, um, she is not that tall in comparison to him, but you know, who's counting? 
uh, and consistent upload schedule, but my editor, whenever I go to render a video, it keeps stopping at random percentages. Um, well, you know, without knowing what editor you you have, without knowing what editor you are using, yeah, I wouldn't be able to even begin to tell you what could or couldn't be going wrong. Um, it could be doing. I know editors are really, really finicky things. This computer is doing things. It's a miracle. Yeah, now it's doing things. I don't... Oh, for... All right, never mind. <laughs> Linda, why did you... Uh, Leia, why did you jinx it? Leia, you jinxed it! <laughs> It is computers doing things. Oh, yeah. No. You had to say something. Ah. I use Pinnacle Studio. I have no idea. I've never used Pinnacle Studio. I've used Avid. I've used uh, Final Cut. I've used Premiere. And I've used DaVinci. But I've never used Pinnacle. So, yep. You had to say something, Basarge. Le Leia Basar Bas Bosarge. You had to say something. It might just be the sheer size of this canvas. I might have to shrink it. Writing to file. Oh my god, it's it's crashing because it's saving. Alright, I'm going to give it a second so it can write to file. Because I enjoy using my Jinx powers. So, so far this hour... Um, I tried to stream and had to abort because of a technical issue. Um, and then I've tried to do what I was asked to do, and the program just doesn't want to work. I'm going to have to... I'm, it's probably just the size. I might have to shrink it. I don't know. I don't know how much... Although, it doesn't make any sense. I've got more than enough memory to accommodate a file of just in st stupidly big size. Although, this is using... Holy shit! All right, so Clip Studio is using 20 gigabytes of memory for this. But I've got 64. That really shouldn't be an issue. Thing is, this problem didn't happen, or at least uh, not when I noticed it in months previous. My best guess would be heating issue. But it's a good thing. <laughs> heating issue. Um... Yeah, I mean, if your computer is overheating, it might shut down a render to protect its CPU. You should probably, like, do you know what the what the core, what your what your what your core temperatures are? Would like someone who knows about all this stuff to either confirm or deny into additional cooling system. If you want to do video editing, you and and you don't have any AC, then I highly recommend you sink that additional hundred or so dollars. Oh, okay, it made an it did a thing. All right, so um, let me think here. Edit, uh, change canvas size. All right, I'm going to have to shrink this down by about half, and we'll see if that fixes it. Um, I 
There we go. Ah, all right. Well, not really. That's okay. I can grab all three of these and... Of course. It's a, it's a, yes, Lindy, it is, it is an, it's a, it is, it's a. I remember correctly. There we go. Okay. Just get rid of this. There. Up here and drop that down. No, his father in law is not a giant. going to use his face as a general scale and say that he would probably be the two of them look to be about the same height just going off of their face I know that's a little bit yeah okay I'll look into that but you recommend any particular cooling system for my computer I don't know all of the exact specs off the top of my head uh honestly i i there are better resources than me to ask about computer cooling if you don't have any kind of ac in where your computer is then to be honest it doesn't matter how much cooling you yeah, it doesn't matter what you do to that computer unless you actually put it inside of a refrigerator or something. Um, it's just going to eventually start circulating hot air. Um, I would consider putting better cooling inside the computer and also moving the computer to somewhere where there's AC. There we go. Duplicate that layer <coughs> and rasterize. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Cool, I clicked a button and it decided to just kill everything. No. Just to get that. Yeah, now it's acting a lot more stable. I might have just hit its, like, memory limit. Come on. Uh, the father-in-law looks like a forest ghost. <laughs> Thank you. I now command it to be E. E, huh? You command it to be E. All right. Just to clear out some space so I can see them. Okay, now for the for the fourth time, let's try and get some scaffolding going on.
go. He's got kind of a short neck. Goes into there. And we got you. There. Let's see. Can't really move it with my current living situation. My room, there's only one outlet I can use for the other two outlets. Of the other two outlets, one doesn't work and one is being used for my room kitchen. Um, again, I mean, it might be a heating issue. It might not. <coughs> oh, you know what? If... If Pinnacle works like Premiere, maybe check and see if you've accidentally started putting brackets everywhere. You know, just just to, just see if maybe you've got, you know, you're accidentally setting endpoints in the program. Brackets. Um, yeah, endpoints and outpoints. And in Premiere, you can set um, you can you can set endpoints in a sequence so that when you render it, you don't go past that endpoint. Again, I've never worked with Pinnacle, dude, so I don't one hundred percent know. check something with the example image that he sent. His computer has global warming. Yeah. This guy's a very wide guy. Hang on. thinking he'll have like a hand here like up and, and 
down. And then one there. Yes, probably there. Just go with this here. There we go. Oh, no, nothing like that. The rendering stops at random points, sometimes at 20%, sometimes at 13. Uh, one time it went all the 99, with literally 500 frames to go, and it stopped rendering. I, I mean, you've got, hmm. Have you Googled the problem to see what you could find? check the yeah weasel is your drawing knowledge from college third party classes or just practicing all three it is it is all three i've also not really been practicing all that much lately because I've been involved with several productions and I really really haven't had time to do much of anything Also, I'm absolutely terrible at people. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just trying to get like little details. Oh, cool. And it goes right into uh right into this again. Oh, there it goes. Um as a traditional artist, I've always and I always envy people who had the patience to learn digital art. The setting alone are enough to give me a headache. Yeah. Weasel's just frustrated he's not super computer magic man. Tried Googling, even tried posting to Reddit, tried contacting customer service. Only response was copy and paste. Yes, everything I come up to date. And the only... Oh, cool. 
Uh, yeah, Weasel is a little bit frustrated that the program has decided to be like an unstable wreck. Um, really, really getting frustrated about that, actually. Like, seriously getting frustrated with this. The only things that I run in the background are file explorer and dot text notepad. <sighs> Let me think. It are all of your drivers up to date? As a digital artist, I envy people who have the patience for traditional art, the inability to un Yeah, I've got I've got more you know, no no digs against digital artists, you know. It, but like if you're a good traditional artist, I think that takes I think that takes a lot of you know, that's that's a lot of patience. Sure is at least nice if your com your computer doesn't get sucked and lo sucked into and lost into a vortex. Yeah, I just kind of wanted a more productive art stream than like every ten minutes the thing crashing. That's all right. This is this whole project is going to take more than it's going to take more than one art stream. Like it just it is it just is going to take more than one art stream. So, you know, it crashes. I mean, that's frustrating, sure, but it was, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Wait a minute. Why am I wearing headphones? I nothing is I'm not listening to it. I'm just so used to whenever I work having to put headphones on. As an abstract artist, I don't envy anyone because I can blow my own nose onto a canvas and say it's a metaphor for the dangers of nuclear proliferation. Hey, abstract art takes some skill too. Oh, for those of you who are just joining us, um, you can't see it, but the pointer is turned into a rotating sphere of death. And, uh, oh, okay. Is it working now? There it goes. Except it's still saving and recovering. It's saving recovery information. It might be the, the pictures. That's why I need to, like, get... I need to put my phone on silent. That's what I need to do. Just dealing with like multiple projects and multiple things and multiple people. I'm like just slightly frustrated <laughs> slightly frustrated it would be cool if everything you know worked and was functioning and wasn't crashing or having issues all the time There we go. Now I can possibly maybe use it. All right. I'm going to take this nice and easy. Just real easy. Just really, really easy. <laughs> I don't know exactly why it's a acting this way. I guess everything's terrible, but it's 
the program just has to just has to be real easy just real easy light touches just light touches Then I can go back through with like variable pen strokes and, and like get everything. Well, kind of want to give her yeah because she's got like curly kind of intricate hair patterns just want to make sure that these lines here have that because it's very clear to me that something about having pictures up on on this thing just freaks it the hell out uh, in let's see maybe you can turn off the autosave feature for the program yeah maybe but then I'm worried that if it does crash well mm, I don't I really don't like not working with autosave like, I really don't like not working with auto... I, I don't like not having an auto save. Now I'm going to leave autosave on. Yeah, it, it causes interruptions, but I'd rather have autosave on than not have it. Jesus needs to stop playing COD and keep your PC from crashing. In other more positive news, did you hear the new Stargate RTS game is in the works? Huh. Okay, well that could be cool. I always figured Stargate would lend itself really good to... Uh, like an XCOM style game. That is some intricate, intricate, intricate work right here. And then we've got this, but his hand will be here. There, and then this will be kind of around it. So you'll have this, which I would love to know what this is. I do not know. It looks interesting, though. I think those are flowers. Yeah. Makes sense to me, since Phantom Doctrine is basically XCOM, but with spies instead of aliens. Yeah.
I just have to remember that there's these gold elements inside of here. And also there's a thing there's a thing there and there. And there's also one across here. Oh, so this is, all right, I think I see, yeah, that's over here. And then that is across. There. Let's see. With traditional art, weasel is this a class for a commission or just uh, practice? Uh, no, this is just a just a favor I'm doing for a friend of mine. No, this isn't a commission. No, I've got a couple of commissions that I do need to work on, though. And then that comes up to here. <coughs> Coloring this is going to be really interesting. Yeah. It also looks like there's some kind of I'll have to ask him what the um what that is. That looks like a tattoo. <coughs> but it might not be a tattoo and I need to ask him about that. That could be a reflection off of something. I don't know. Yeah, it looks kind of bizarre with, with how the everything is like in one even thickness, but I'll go back through and change that. See, with traditional art, it's easy to cover up mistakes with a lot of, with a bit of white Gucci or white ink. I, for me, I just keep erasing until eventually I destroy the paper. I think this is just a white shirt. There. I'll have his hand over here, and this is just like kind of a rough scaling. I'll probably need to edit it some to get the get the hands right. So long as I can get the scaffolding done. <sighs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Um, just want to double check some things in the inbox. I just had a program on another computer crash. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe China finally hacked the whole world, and all of my systems are just being bad because they've just been infected. So, there. I actually have a um, a subpart, like a little part of my Discord where you can show off your personal art. So, <clears throat> any of any of you traditional artists out there would love to see what you can do. Probably actually straighten out that tie a little bit. Infected with China meat. Let's see. I actually need to line this up a little bit. Gotcha. Okay, so that is just. reconsider maybe no because I like I like how this is how this looks it does kind of feel like he's like there's not a whole lot of them but I'm hoping I can I haven't even thought about what the background is going to be uh, yet There. Nah, it's China. It's Skynet taking over your computer. Yeah, like the worst Terminator movie. I mean, not the worst Terminator. You know, you know, if you take Terminator, if you take Terminator one and two and three and Salvation back to back to back, they actually form a kind of compelling, um, character arc for John Connor. You know, compelling in that you can kind of squint and see how they're all connected. beard going on. Let's see. Uh, it's just been a long day. It's going to be a long week. There's actually a comedy club not too far from where I live. And I'm thinking I might go there Wednesday night. but I'm not 100% sure yet. Oh, no, no, no. Up. Oh, there he goes. I hit a button, and it decided to, uh, to, to want to 
Hopefully that's a save. Yeah, hopefully it's saving and not just dying again and again and again. Let's see. What if your computer becomes a fleshy Terminator made in China? Um, so long as it can do what I need it to do, I don't really care what it is. Oh, okay, good. It's, nope. There. All right. I just wanted to redo this lip here. Wait a minute. That's not a bad idea. I'm just thinking out loud here. We need... We need knowledge. We need knowledge. Let's see. Yes, we need knowledge. You gotta have knowledge. I read a thousand books a day. <laughs> I read a hundred books a day. And I own eight Lamborghinis. <laughs> I own I own 19 Lamborghinis and I eat 4000 books a day. <laughs> ah, the good old days. I remember them well. I feel like Elron and anytime I talk about about like YouTube of 2011 and and thereabouts whenever I talk to someone Whenever I talk to one of my friends in the YouTube community that has like a hundred thousand subscribers that like, they like just got into it and they're like, ah, oh, I've got this. Yeah. But you've been doing it for so long. How come you don't, you don't have anything like you, you've got like 14, like what well, you've been doing this for 10 years. Why? And I'm, and I always feel like Elrod. I'm like, I was there. I was there in 2010 when the courage of men failed. <laughs> not one of my giant hotel towers. Uh, wait, not one of my giant tower hotels that I get into debt over is precious books. Keep up. If you do some of your own stand up, make sure someone records it and posts a clip on it. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If I finally do end up doing a set like I want to. Um, I've actually got a five minute set kind of worked out. But if I do a set like I want to, then I will for sure have somebody record it. Make sure someone in the audience is recording that thing. All right. Oh, oops, her eyes. Probably want those. His wife probably has eyes. Well, probably has has a skull. Probably so. Probably want to keep eyes and make sure that that area is highlighted because there's that. All right. Boom. Um. 
not a bad base to start on. Although I do feel like I do feel like something's slightly off about the proportions of her. And I think it's that her head. Let's make sure I know where that hair is. There we go. Okay. YouTube sages have YouTube sages have the knowledge. Cute fuzzy weasel is a YouTube sage. No, I'm not. No, if anything, I'm just really bad at this YouTube thing. You kind of have to be bad at the YouTube thing to have what I have after almost a decade after three months to a decade here. But then YouTube's never really been my career. I mean, not my... It's never been something that has, you know... It's never been something that I've honestly ever had the opportunity to really work towards. I did once, and when I was, I was making a lot of headway, but, you know, it's hard to, it's, it's hard to break into now when you've got other things going on in your life. When you have a life, it's hard to get into it. I'm not saying people who have lots of subscribers don't have lives, I'm just saying that when it's not your absolute goal in life it's it's hard to maintain yeah there we go on that note to the seven people or the eight people who are watching I'm actually working on a on a uh, on another channel. Been watching this since Mario to Plumper days. Your stuff is still funny now as it was then. So not very funny. <laughs> but um yeah, I am I am working on the groundwork for a whole other channel. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's a pretty good that's that's a pretty good groundwork here. That's that's a pretty good. So we'll that. And then once that's good. Alright. go edit image Crap. all right and then give it 13 billion years there it goes start with his hair keep it a darker pencil
check on something here. If you had the chance to pull to pull from the future and watch Feeding the Trolls what if you had the chance... To, oh my god. Feeding the Trolls 1,867? I... You know, I haven't... It's... I, I don't... That, that's, a, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Also, I think you're being optimistic given my record. For over a thousand feeding the trolls, 128. I think that's a little young at my pace. Just a little young. checking on something here hold on because of course my my inbox is being flooded by this one guy who is a producer on another short that wants to do stuff with another video At that age you'll be an adult you'll be an adult in eleven years. What what are you talking about? What are you even talking about, man? Let's see. Um, let's see. Now, in this image, he's got... Right here. Made it a little bit too large, but that's fine. That. Actually, let me check again on this. 
I've made his eyebrows maybe a little bit too bushy. Talking about Leia stuff and acting like my brain is made of goofballs, of course. Oh, all right. Like I said, this is just a chill live stream. I'll go for like hour 30, hour 45, then call it. Probably. Oh, shit. Alright, I touched something and now it's got to do the thing again. Uh, it's like program roulette. Even if your gaming channel is currently collecting virtual dust, are there any games that have recently captured your attention? Yes! War of Rights! I've been playing the hell out of that. Like, really playing the hell out of that. Let's see. So I'll just wait for this thing to not be not be, you know, crapped out. There it goes. Any way to get a quick synopsis? Yeah, it's a uh, mass. It's an online multiplayer shooter uh, that's like Civil War reenacting. You've got muskets, and you've you know you 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 march in Napoleonic lines, and you take thirty seconds to reload. It's actually a lot of fun. It's actually a lot of fun. Um so you you can't see the thing but it's like doing this thing where it's just sitting here waiting to do something. I remember wheezing with laughter when I first saw Magical Paki Usaki episode, the Let's Riff commercials playlist. Got me through some sad days, good times. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I just need to... Need to get... You know, yeah. Well, I'm glad... I'm glad you were able to get some... Some, you know, happiness out of that. You know, whatever... So long as... As the videos help... You know, someone smile on a... You know, shitty day, it's... Yeah, that's always good. All right, so the program is now just sitting here broken. Um I might actually call it here because this this is really uh, Clip Studio is just not cooperating today, and I really don't know why. Rip Magical Paki Usaki. Wait, did she die? Wait, is she dead? She's not dead. Let me look her up while the program is up. No, I'm gonna. It's saving recovery information. Now, now it's crashing again. Let me look her up. S A G I. She's there's an Instagram that 
has that moniker, but it's like for memes. And that's it. Like, there's nothing else. All right, so is it? Hey, Reverse Clouds, what's up? Second second stream destroyed by tech errors. Yeah, it's starting to feel that way. Up. Yep, and... Oh, okay, good. For a second there, I thought I, I was about to say yep, and there goes my ability to actually draw it all. Oh, there we go. Tomorrow, I've got to edit this thing that I'm working on, and then... I think that eye is a little bit yeah the eyes got screwed up all right let me let me redo those eyes i was just looking at the eyes like something's going on with the eyes I think the eyes need to have thicker lines she just vanished before the streams end, before the stream ends i just want to say thanks for being an inspiration to me and giving me some advice based on what little information i've i could type into the chat of my computer well no problem no problem at all. And yeah, she did just vanish. And that's probably for the best. She, uh... It's kind of like what Copper Cab should do. Just vanish. Yeah. Wait, is did Copper Cab vanish? I want to say he did. Nope. Nope. No, he didn't. He didn't. But he's only 28? God, I thought he'd be older. I really thought he'd be older. See. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, um let's see. Imagine if Matt invented the filthy Frank style series around her persona. Uh I think some personas should just be buried. Sometimes an act isn't worth continuing. I mean just look at Andy Kaufman. Or that other guy who's constantly on modern day debates even though he's not a serious debater at all. Alex Stein, that's his name. How's the next spirit science feeding coming along? It's recorded. I will I will say it's recorded. 
I want it to be not the next Feeding the Trolls because the next one is um, one more uh, from the uh, what what the uh, what would you say channel. So I've got the one that's that's out on Patreon, and then I've got another one uh, where they talk about how they talk about um, well you'll see, but I really wanted to do that one. And then after that one is the animated um, spirit science episode. And then after that, I've got a I've got a plan that I kind of need to take a hiatus for, but it won't be it, it won't be a long hiatus, and it's for a good reason. Oh, oh, that that's not. Okay, let me redo that. Let's see. Even Filthy Frank made his persona vanish. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's only so much shouting like an idiot you can do until you know. It just becomes weird. It's kind of like... It's kind of like Nostalgia Critic, you know? Nostalgia Critic's whole persona has... You know, it, it's one of those things where you like it as a kid, and then as you get older, it starts becoming... You start noticing how, like, actually not genuine it is. I mean, you get the sense from the Red Letter Media people, right, that they truly care about what they talk about, and they actually have educated opinions. And yeah, some of their stuff, you know, their older stuff is kind of cringy, but on the whole, it's held up really, really well. But then you look at Nostalgia Critic, and all his, all his shit is just screaming. It's just screaming and complaining that things aren't the way they were when he was a kid. Also, the whole change the channel thing was terrifying, you know that. Let's see. Didn't Mario the Plumber vanish after buying a F-ton of Rosalina figures? I don't remember. Yes, Spirit Science is still around. If only you and Copper Cab did a collab and that first Halloween special was the death of his character officially. No. I don't think Copper Cab is a persona. I think Copper Cab actually has problems. There have been a few trolls that have come out as trolls and have been like, you know, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. It was fun while it lasted. Um, but then there are people like Monica Punk who are just bad. See, if only... Oh, you still... All right. Let's see. I need to get that... I need to get this right.
it is kind of thin. So. It's still a little bit weird, but I can edit that out. Let's see. Have you ever been contacted, been in contact with Monkey Game Guides? Yes, I have. I actually have talked to him. Um, that was all a persona, too. That's why the best advice for someone creating a content just to be, is to just be yourself. There's only so far you can st stretch a persona. Yeah. If you want to do a comedy sketch where a personality trait just turned into turned up to 11 for laughs, and by all means do that skit. But outside of skits, just be you. Yeah. Let's see. Three. There's something about the eyes though that just I think I might have made them or there's like a lack of definition to them It's like a shirt collar and then we'll have that be like right there okay that ain't bad Yes, I am working on the um, the scaffolding of another channel. One that specializes in um, explaining things like like facts and reviews. 
and less reaction. Just remember, you were the first person I saw review Jacob in the Promised Land. And then a year or so later, every movie... Yeah, yeah, I got lucky on that one. Didn't really pan out in terms of views, but I got lucky on that one. Also, I'm absolutely convinced that Saber... Saber... Um, Saber Star? Saber something? There's another guy who has like 2 million subscribers that reviewed that movie, and I am absolutely convinced that he took a joke from me. Abs absolutely convinced that he took a joke from me. Have you had any ideas towards the Troll for the Halloween special? I have not, but I will find one. Yeah, I there I will find one. And also Halloween will be on time this year. There we go. I did find a Christmas one, like, at the start of the year, though, so I've been sitting on that for later. I don't know, I might clean that up, but I wanna kinda I wanna keep with the spirit of this of this image. So I might clean that up later, I might not. That's not too bad. Of course, he has a little bit of a thicker beard than the other one, so... Make sure that we capture that. Okay. Need to go load some more um Cinestill in the camera and get some shots of downtown at some point. This is a pretty good start. This is a pretty good start. Whoa, what? Successfully reconnected. Okay, good. Good. Let's see. Hey, Weasel, wanted to pop in and say hello, dude. Hey, Alex, how's it going?
shoot, that's in. You also reviewed Potato Knishes and Young Lean music video, and them and those became popular as well. You might just be the YouTube trending touch now. I'm not. It's going pretty well, dude. Painted a bunch of Warhammer miniatures and terrain. Looking forward to posting them when they're finished. Well, awesome. Awesome. Did you hear about... Let's see. Uh, Thea White? No, I did not. Dictator of Warmth and Forces. Yeah. DH. Damn, I didn't know she died. Thea White, I mean, not the person I'm drawing. Um. Huh. sure that I get this too. I think next crash I'm going to call it. Yeah. And speak of the devil. Okay, well, I decided to crash again. Um, I'm going to probably call it there just because, you know, unstable, uncooperative program is not exactly fun to watch. Uh, I will do this again next Tuesday. Yeah, you and I are about the same age, I think. It might be one or two. So I figured you might have checked out, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, I used to watch it. Um, but anyway, uh, gonna go ahead and call this here. I will do this again next Tuesday. So I might make this an every Tuesday thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's been great. And, uh, I will see you. Oh, Friday, New Feeding the Trolls is coming out, is, uh, is coming public. It's actually up on Patreon right now. So if you uh are a patron you can go over there and check it out and if you're not a patron do it for a dollar you know do a dollar uh anyway this is cute fuzzy weasel and have a good night